voy a estar haciendo un video. ¿Oíste? Voy a estar haciendo un video. I want to make bias tape to go around the whole apron. I don't even know how much I'm going to need. All I know is I have a yard of this fabric, this green fabric, and I'm going to make bias tape with this green fabric. Now, I watched a video from, what's her name? Okay, so I watched a video from Made Every Day, and she showed an easy way to make bias tape. So I'm just going to follow the instructions and make the, the bias tape. So let me show you the process of me trying to make bias tape. So here what I'm doing is I'm just cutting my fabric on the bias. I will leave a video link to where you can watch the video on how to do that. Um, she has a really good video on how to make bias tape. I'm just letting you watch me do it. Um, and what I'm doing here is just cutting. I'm going to use those two triangle pieces and I'm going to cut off this excess piece to save for scrap fabric. Just a small public service announcement. My legs, my cellulite, my feet are going to be in these clips here. So if you have a problem with that, then I would suggest just stop watching the video. But I'm a real person and I don't care what people think. So if you don't care, then continue watching. So what I'm doing here now is now I have my two pieces of folded um, fabric that is cut on the bias. Um... Now what I'm going to do is just fold it one more time, follow the instructions of the video, um, and from there I'm going to be cutting out strips to make my bias tape. Okay, so here what I have is my roller, and here I'm going to be using the my yardstick to measure out 2 inch bias strips. So I'm just marking 2 inches on on the fabric. So I'm going and marking two inches. So here what I'm doing is I'm just lining up my yardstick, making those straight lines. We already measured two inches, but here I'm just making another dots just to make sure I go in a straight line of two inches all the way up. And then after that, I'm using my fabric marker, just making straight lines of two inches. All right, so here I'm just cutting the strips. We are cutting them on the bias, cutting these strips. All these strips are gonna get sewn together to make a continuous long strip of two inches for our bias tape. So this part right here for me was a little confusing, but at the end I ended up getting it. You just had to sew the strips of, that you cut together, um, like on the opposite direction. It's a little confusing, but if you watch the video, she shows you how to do it. Um, yeah, I'm just sewing the strips together to make one long continuous strip of bias tape. Many hours later, and as you can see, I don't look as cute as I did, <laughs> but I finally finished with the bias tape. It's not perfect. As you can see, it's not perfect. Okay. 
but it's definitely cut on the bias. Look at all that stretch, and this is a cotton material. Because look, no stretch, and then on the bias, which all of these are, look at all that stretch. Anyways, I have about, let me measure. Sixteen yards and nine inches. So, so what I'm going to do to make the bias tape is as I go along, I'm going to be pressing open these seams here, which is just where I sewed the bias tape. I'm just going to press them open so they lay flat. But I'm going to press the bias tape like this, okay? And then the other half like this, evenly, obviously. And I'm just going to do that to the whole bias tape. That way, when I'm done, I'm going to fabric. Uh, I'm going to sandwich my fabric into these two like this. And the fabric will stay in between here. And this will be a nice, pretty edge for my apron. Okay, I'm back. Look at all this bias tape that I made. So literally, here's like the little edge of one here. As you can see, it's literally just folded in like half or three parts. Sorry, this part didn't iron that well. And then when you go to put your fabric, you sandwich the fabric in and sew around here. And then this is the pretty trimming. It's nice and pretty. Hi guys. It's been like, I don't even know, maybe a week later. And I'm barely getting back to the apron. And I totally forgot I was showing you guys how I made it. And this is not going to be a good tutorial. So this video isn't a tutorial. It's just watch me make an apron. Anyway, so my mom, like I said, this is a little apron that she let me borrow. It fits alright. It is kind of small on me. So I just made the measurements to fit me bigger around here because I would like it to cover like my chest, a little bit more of my chest, and a little bit more longer and whatever. Okay, anyways, so I'm going to show you what I did. I just folded, I grabbed some paper, like drafting paper to make my pattern. What I mean by drafting paper is like, um, I went to the dollar store, well not right now, I when I was more into sewing, I you go to the dollar store and you can get like rolls of this banner art paper or I have this brown paper I think it's like like wrapping paper so you can see here I folded it in half and I cut out I put around two inches extra on each end because I want it a little bit longer about two inches on the side with some seam allowance so it's not exactly going to be two inches it's probably going to be around an inch because you have to include the seam allowance so you can see my pattern has all the way around about a centimeter seam allowance or you know half a quarter inch seam allowance but yeah I just did that and I added like two inches to an inch around the sides two inches are on the side so yeah I'm not gonna do the pocket yet until I actually um, make my mock-up which is what I'm doing right now I like to make mock-up of things before I decide that this is the final size because if I don't like the size well I'm not gonna cut my fabric which is right here for you know this apron if I didn't like it so I'm making a mock-up this is not the material I'm using this is like a silk material that I got at Walmart for like two dollars for like five yards of this fabric and I always like to get fabric on sale so I can make mock-ups like this this is a pretty fabric and it would be pretty to make like I don't know maybe pillows because I don't see myself wearing a uh, shirt the material is a little thick for a tea, like a blouse. It wouldn't drape really nicely, but it would make a nice pillow. Anyways, I'm going to use this fabric to make a mock-up. So I'm just going to show you. I'm just placing it. I'm placing... Well, I'm going to take this off. Oh, God. 
wow the whole thing fell well anyways i'm placing this on the fabric and i'm just gonna cut it out and make a mock-up of what it would look like so i'll show you and i'm just going to trace around this whole thing and i'm gonna be using the salvage edges since it's just a mock-up trace around this whole thing to make my mock-up of this so here I am just tracing around. I'm using a Sharpie because this is just a mock-up, but if it was your real material, you obviously want to use a fabric marker. But those thing, those uh those silver weights that I'm using are actually just washers. I bought the biggest washers I could find at my local hardware store, and I like to use those to weigh down my pattern piece so that it won't shift while I'm tracing out the piece on my fabric, and they work really well. And you can actually decorate them and you know with fabric as well um, but I just use them how they are so here I am cutting out the uh, mock-up piece again using my fabric weights so that the fabric doesn't shift now since this is a mock-up what I'm doing here is pinning all around the edge just to make like a little hem to see the finished look of what it would look like. And here I'm showing you how I'm pinning all around the whole shape of the fab of the apron. So here as you can see, I pinned around the whole piece and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sew along that piece to see what the finished look would look like. Here I am in my machine, just sewing up a hem, about, I don't know, quarter, quarter inch, half inch. I don't know, I'm really bad with my measurements. I just eyeball it most of the time. But since this is just a mock-up piece, I'm not really caring about, you know, my stitching. I just want to see what the final look is going to turn out to be so I can get started on my real apron project. Okay, so as you can see, I did make the uh, mock-up of the apron out of this material. So yeah, this is how it fits. Oh God. Like this, which is nice and long which is what I like. It covers about halfway, which is what I need. So this is a material I bought for the apron. It's just, I wanted something that wouldn't look so dirty. So of course I went for something black. Something kitchen related, which is just a little rooster, a pig, and a cow, and it has that print all over. And then it was just a cotton material, so I just bought a black material to make it a little thicker. You could buy interfacing and iron it on or sew it on but I just bought two fabrics that way I can use it on the black side if I wanted to or on this side so it's gonna have like a front and a back this is gonna be the uh, piping and the tie around the waist and the neck and then this material it's gonna go all around for that pop of color to add something to this apron Okay, so as you can see here, I have my apron cut out and both of the materials, that's the cow material and then I have the black. You can see I left, put all the pins around the whole thing, ready for me to sew together and then, oh, watch out, I keep on stabbing myself with the pins. And then here on this side, I put these pins vertically yeah vertically so that this is where I know I'm gonna leave my opening to flip the whole thing inside out okay so I'm just using my the edge of my presser foot as a guide for my seam to go even all the way around 
so I just wanted to mention here in this clip, um, where I, on my previous clip, what I was doing, what I did was I just put the fabrics together good side facing each other. So pretty side facing pretty side. That way when I, when we turn it inside out, what we will have is the, the two pretty sides on the outside. So you sew the two pretty sides together and then you leave an opening of about, I would say three inches so that you can turn it inside out. And here I am just turning it inside out. I'm poking out the corners with a little tool, just a little stick that you get with your polyfill if you ever bought some. And I'm just poking out the corners so they lay nice and flat, not too hard because you don't want to rip the fabric. This is the opening right here. So what I'm going to do is just fold it over. I'm going to iron it, fold this over, and just stitch this, just this part closed. I'm not going to do a top stitch because we have this binding to put all over it. So. so here I'm just flattening it out. It's always good to use an iron when you're doing your sewing projects because, you know, ironing is a lot, a big part of um, sewing. You want things to lay flat. So I'm just fl um, um, pressing the whole apron and the edges so that they lay flat so that I can put the binding on. Like you can see, I sewed closed. <laughs> I sewed the opening closed, and now we have the basic apron shape. But we need to do. I have about 16 yards, I think, of this bias tape that I made, and you can tell because look, it's nice and stretchy, and it was just regular cotton. That's gonna go around this whole thing and make the necktie and the mm, waist time so I might show you some of it but I'm not sure how well I can film it what I ended up doing off camera was folding my bias tape and ironing the whole 16 yards in half because it was just like this but I ironed it in half I put these clips to keep it folded so what I'm doing here is I'm going to sew the bias tape around like this, as you can see. This is what I'm going for, just to put it all over on the edge of the apron. So as you can see, I pinned the bias tape and clipped it all the way around the, hold on. Sorry if it's a little crooked. You can't see my face, but I'm gonna show. I'm gonna pull this up. So I left this part blank because I I'm going to do you know the strings on this and arm the armholes, but I am going to do just the side, the bottom, and the other side. Okay, I'm not even sure if I'm going to put this video up because I 
got lost in what I was doing and I forgot to film what I was doing but basically I just sewed this on and now I'm sewing the ties on the ties could have been a little thicker but whatever this is around the arm area and then the tie for the neck area is gonna get sewn on but I'll show you when it's done I don't even know if I'll <laughs> like I'm not doing a good job filming this <clears throat> okay so it's the next day after I was working on it for a long time and the apron is done it's basically done here is the ties for around the neck okay and then the ties for around the waist and you can see the basic apron shape so yeah on this it's double-sided basically this side has a cute cow print and then here is where I sewed on the bias tape all the way around and then the ties and then yeah so what I'm gonna do to this now what it needs is that I tried it on and this part although I did purposely make it bigger when I try to tie it it like scrunches up so I think I might gonna add I'm probably gonna add like just some pleats here so that I won't scrunch up and what I mean by pleats is like like that but oh, like even amount one here and one here so that when I tie it on the back it doesn't scrunch up and then I'm going to make a pocket for the front and then like I said it's double sided so this is this side if you want to use the plain side it's just black with you could see through the fabric in this light <laughs> but it's just black with the green and I'm, I also wanted to add a pocket on this side so you can use back or front it's lie flat but the rest of it looks nice so what I'm saying is like a pleat here on this side a pleat here on that side and then once I add those pleats it will lie flat on the chest but it's really nice it covers the sides the tie is really cute let's see get the tie and yeah and then I'm gonna add a pocket really around this area this is future me literally like two months after this apron video was filmed um, I did end up making that adjustment to the apron and I ended up adding the pocket and I am gonna show you uh, because I didn't do a, a ending to this video so this is gonna be my little outro to this video but let me show you real quick lighting is not the best but it's what I can do for now so here is where I added the pleats to this apron it did fit me loose from here I made it too wide so I just added these pleats you can't even tell they're there when you're looking at it I also added since it is my apron <laughs> just just little green bows with some of the bias tape on each side just to make it a little more feminine um, and then I did add this big pocket onto these to this all you do to add the pocket is you cut out the shape of your material and hem it and then you can just sew it right on the apron and I did sew right down the middle of it so that it's like a divided pocket I was gonna do bias tape here on the edges of the pocket but I just decided not to um, but this is the apron and let me put it on to show you so here's the apron on as you can see it did fit really loose from here so I did add those pleats so that it would not be so loose up here I also added these cute bows on each side you can't even tell the pleats are there you can kind of see this one a little bit here um, and then I have my pockets here's one here's two it's just split down I just stitched a stitch long stitch straight down the middle and I think it's just so cute like I said I chose this because I didn't want grease stains or um, 
just food stains in general to show on this material since it is an apron and it is meant to get dirty but i think for my first time making an apron i think it's really nice and it's just something so fun to do to experiment with knowing that you made it yourself and that there's only one of these in the world i think it's just so fun a fun experiment to do i love just random sewing randomly doing random projects and i hope you liked this video i know it was kind of messy but i really wanted to show you the end product and how it came out and thanks for watching it with me or watching it bye